Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well. My name is Christos Pires and I am a Microsoft Dynamics Nav Consultant. In this episode, I am going to show you how to run sales code approval requests with the Workflows feature on Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016. You can set up and use workflows connected with business process tasks performed by different users. System tasks such as automatic posting can be included as steps in workflows preceded or followed by user tasks. Requesting and granting approval to create new records are typical workflow steps. I will be switching between two roles so to demonstrate this scenario. Salesperson, Sales Manager. Open your Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016 client and search for the approval user setup page. In the user ID field, look up to find the sales manager's user ID and click on it. Place a check mark in the following fields, unlimited sales approval, unlimited request approval. In this example, I assume there is no sales amount approval limit and sales manager can delegate requests to substitute approvers or delegate overdue approval requests. In the second line, look up to the user ID field and select the salesperson's user ID. Do not forget to enter the sales manager's user ID in the approver ID field. Click OK to close the page. Go back to your search bar and search for the workflows page. Click on it. Click on the new workflow from templates button which locates on the top under the home tab. Expand the sales document node and select the sales code approval workflow option and click on it. As you can see a workflow is based on the if this then that logic. It comprises of, the th of three elements when event on condition and then response. In the first line approval of a sales document is requested, go to the last column then response and look up. Change that field and click OK. Now it's time to create a sales code. To do that, log into Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016 with the salesperson's credentials. Go to the department's menu and find the sales code. Create a new sales code and then hit the send approval request button. You will get a confirmation message an approval request has been sent. Click OK to that message. Log into Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016 with the sales manager's credentials and go to the sales codes pending approval page. In this example, I noticed that the line discount is too high, so I will place a comment instruction to the salesperson to reduce it and reject the sales quote. Login back to Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016 with the salesperson's credentials and search for the approval request entries page. Click on it. Have a look at the sales manager's instruction to reduce the line discount. Edit the sales code as instructed and go back to the home tab and click on to the send approval request button one more time. Notice the amended line discount and hit the approve button on the top. Log in back to the database with the salesperson's credentials and refresh the approval request entries page. The status is now set to approved. Click on the record button at the top and click on the make order button so to convert the sales code to a sales order after of course 
customer sign off 